Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to show you this painting today. Um, this is another painting from my Valentine's Day series, which is celebrating love, not just romantic love, but all types of love. So today, the, the love that I'm showing you today is the love of family and friends. And I'm doing a like a bloom swipe with a with a palette knife. I'm hoping to create three, it, almost like a pinwheel of three um, bands of color rotating. Um, I'm not using a traditional bloom recipe. I'm using Floetrol and and my regular paints. I've just mixed them thick. So my, my pillow paint is black house paint, but it is mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water, so it's not quite so thick. And then my other paints, they are mixed like a flip cup or even thicker. So one to one and a half parts of Floetrol for every part of paint. Do you see how thick that is coming out? So it still flows, but it is a thick, thick paint. So one part paint to one to one and a half parts Floetrol, and then just a little bit of water to get it to the right consistency. So I've got green oxide and gold, which are going to be my colors on top of the base. So my main colors, black base, green and gold everywhere. And then each of the three kind of swipe out sections is going to have an additional color in it. So I have this, I forget what this green is called. It's a new color to me. Uh, it's like bright, I don't know, bright something green from Blick Studio Acrylics. I'll put it in the comments, or the, not the comments, the description. And then I also have this uh, primary yellow, this, um, I think this is bright aqua green. And then my cell activator is Amsterdam titanium white, just mixed with water. So there's no Australian Floetrol in this. It is mixed to the point where it can run easily. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit more water because I, wa I want it to be thinner than my other paints to help create that lacing effect. So I've gotten good results using just Amsterdam paint and water with a regular bloom recipe. I've gotten good results making lacing with um, apple barrel pouring medium instead of the regular bloom recipe. And, and then I've had some good results, some as in I haven't tried it enough to know if it's good yet. So this is kind of a test to see whether the standard mix of the craft paint and Floetrol, but mixed thicker, whether this Amsterdam titanium white mixed with water can also create the lovely lacing like with a bloom pour on that. So that's what we're going to use today. I really hope it works. If it doesn't work, uh, you know, then maybe I'll be trying this again with a regular bloom recipe. But let's go ahead and get started. So I have various sizes of palette knives over here, but I think I'm going to be using this one, which is my biggest one. Okay, let me move these and put down the pillow. I've got a 12 by 12 canvas here on my spinner. Okay, that's most of my pillow paint, which is, that's quite a lot of paint. I have a little bit left here in the cup just in case I need it. Let me torch and get out some of the air bubbles. So 12 by 12, and this is a deep canvas. So I'm really excited. It's just so 
so fancy compared to the usual thin ones. Okay, so the green and the gold, I'm not going to make puddles, I'm just going to spread them across the surface here. So this painting is representing uh, the power of, of friendships and family in the happy times and in the dark times. So we've got, you know, we've got green, like the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, maybe the grass is greener when you have friends and family to take care of you. And the, the black is, you know, the dark times that we go through, and the gold is those little pops of, of specialness in your life. And then the, these other colors are just really bright and fun and show the joy that family and friends bring. So I'm really excited to make this piece. Just popping some more air bubbles because House paint is quite thick. Even with the Floetrol mixed in, it can hold on to a lot of air bubbles. And I don't really want those showing up in my finished painting. I'm just getting this centered. So these colors are just going to appear sort of at the beginning, and then as I swipe through, I think it'll carry around. So I'm going to start, that looks like the middle. So I'm going to put some of this blue or bright aqua green here. I don't want it to absolutely dominate but I do want there to be enough of it that we can see that color. And then in this third will be this, this pale lime green. It reminds me of like a key lime pie. I mean, this is making tons and tons of air bubbles, but at least they are rising to the surface. The paint is not so thick that they're trapped inside, so that is good. Okay, so my, my um, cell activator, my swipe color here, um, I'm going to put that down, just a little, a little patch of it here on the plastic tablecloth, so I can dip my palette knife into that. So I'm going to dip it in Okay. So So I'm going to go like this and then swipe it around. I was like sketching it out and trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. And I think the answer is, I just have to try it and hope for the best. So I'm going to start here and just gently swipe around. And then I'll just put this on the edge of the canvas. Why not? Okay, so that's looking pretty. It's definitely a small swipe. I may need to come in with a smaller palette knife and add some more. Also, I'm not seeing much of that blue, so... Um, I'll do the next swipe and then we'll see if I can bring some up with a straw. 
So let me dip this in again and get lined up for the next one. Okay. Definitely lots of cells coming up. So the Amsterdam paint does work with the regular paint and flow draw mix. That's for sure. Now we just have to see if my concept works. <laughs> Okay, well, I have a three-piece pinwheel. That's great. I do see some blue here and some yellow there, so we have some color differentiation. We gotta see what it'll look like when I stretch it and hopefully bring some more cells here out of the white. So I clearly I have some sections that did not get swiped across, so I'm gonna use my little um, flat palette knife to get those. Well, that added more white than I meant to, but I think that's gonna open up as I stretch it. Just a little bit of white here. Nice. I'm just wiping off my palette knife in between each one. This is looking very pretty. I'm, I am seeing some of the pale green here. I'm seeing some of the turquoise, so it's definitely not super bold, but I didn't add tons of that color, so. I'm going to take a little bit of extra pillow paint and put it here along these corners just to make it easier for the design to stretch across the corners. Because I'm not positive. I think it'll stretch fine, but I don't want to need to overstretch my pattern to get it to cover. It doesn't seem to be fully centered, so I'm just gonna slightly Just tilt it a little bit. There, that looks a little more centered in the middle. All right, let's give it a spin, see what starts to happen, see if we need to do anything else. Okay, so it's mu moving beautifully. Look at that lacing, that's amazing. Uh, before I spin any more, I want to pop some more air bubbles. I want to see if I can blow stuff up here from the white center, and then we'll stretch some more. So in the sections where it is white, like plain white, you can blow with a straw. And sometimes that'll bring up some more cells. Oh, 
Okay, so we got some more cells. I feel like my cent- no, my center is pretty good. I didn't swipe it completely right, but my center is pretty good. I'm gonna spin again. Well, I certainly had plenty of paint. It is moving across the canvas really well. Unfortunately, this pale green that I really loved, it's just close enough to the background color green that you can't really see it. Oh well. But you're definitely getting yellow, you're getting blue, you're getting just regular green. It... From certain angles it feels off-center, but then I rotate it, and from other angles it doesn't look off-center. So I'm gonna spin it one more time. The paint is, it's mostly covering the edges. So I wanna spin just one more time to get it to cover a little bit more. And then I think we'll be done. So I'm just checking to make sure that all the areas that didn't get that lacing in them, those have all spread over the edges. And there's only a few areas that don't have beautiful lacing in them, some of these transitional areas. So it's very, very cool. Yeah, you can't really see the pale green here, but you have more of the white. So it's almost like blue, yellow, and white. So. It's really cool. And my edges, wow, that's like dripped down perfectly. Oh, I, when I give you the close-up, I'm going to have to give you a close-up of the edges. Because the lacing goes down, and it's just amazing. I don't, I don't think there's anything more that I want to do with this, because I can't really bring up any more cells. Um... Actually, there are a couple of these spots where I wish there was lacing. And I think I can fake some lacing by just taking a tiny little palette knife, dipping it in some white, and then... Like, creating... Creating another cell, basically. And some of these tweaks that I'm making, I can come back in with a brush and make them look a little bit neater. But that way I'm starting the process here before the painting dries. So I added just a little bit of, I guess it's a good sign that it's hard for me to even find where I added some of the details, but I think that'll help make it look all unified lacing. But I think I'm done. I just gotta figure out which way is gonna be up. Okay, I believe this is the way it's going to be oriented. But first, let me just show you how pretty these edges are. Oh, I love those thick edges with the perfect drips on them. Amazing. Okay, now back to the actual painting. Look at all that lovely lacing that we got, just with the Amsterdam titanium white mixed with water, and regular paint mixed with American Floetrol. It still made some very dramatic lacing 
beautiful cells. Zero silicone in this, just paint, flow draw, and then water in that cell activator. So, beautiful, beautiful cells. I can't wait to see when that gold is shining. Anyway, so I'm super happy with this. Thank you so much for joining me as I painted this. Um, I hope that you'll come back to my channel and watch some of my other videos. All right, guys, here it is dry. I did end up doing some touch-ups because I wanted those three colors, you know, the turquoise, the light green, and the yellow. I wanted those to show up more so that you could really see the joining of the three parts of the spiral. So I just added that in with a brush and it was a little tricky to get it to look like the rest of the painting, but I really like the way it ended up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out the other videos in this Valentine's Day series and I'll see you for the next one. Bye!